You know, one of the things that people are not paying enough attention to is the destruction of our military. I mean, that's kind of the title of our, is it, our military is being devastated at the same time that all of our enemies, all of our potential adversaries are ramping up. Nobody's coming down but America. So what am I concerned about, Jim? I'm concerned about the fact that our military will not be capable of meeting the threats of the future and America is not focused on it. And thank God for ISIS, because if it wasn't for ISIS, there would have been no focus and no attention. I'll say this as a final thing. Our military has been at war for 13 years. Our military is broken. They're tired. Suicide is at an all-time high. PTSD is rampant and families are falling apart at the seams, but we're going to send 4,000 people to fight Ebola. Now let me just say, I don't know what glue our president has been sniffing, <laughs> but if you really want to protect America, close that southern border and stop the terrorists from coming across. This whole uh, strategy of shifting our focus to the Pacific Rim. Look, China's a problem. China's a huge threat, economically more than anything else probably, but we're never going to get out of the Middle East. We're never going to get out of the Middle East, first and foremost, because we are dependent upon Middle East oil. If we would drill here, drill now, build a pipeline, become energy independent, we could get away from that. But that's a huge problem for us. But there's another reason that we're never going to get out of the Middle East, and that's this little speck of land there called Israel. We made a commitment to Israel in 1948 that we'd be there if they needed us. Okay, this president and my and I and I have yeah. and I want you to understand my children are Jewish. My their mother is a Jew. So I am very passionate about Israel. But the idea that this president has not been anti-Semitic is absolute nonsense. And when I discuss this with my Jewish friends, they act like I'm an idiot. We are going to be in the Middle East forever.